Welcome back to my playthrough of Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. We just finished the Three Eye Rocks, the Sixth Palace, uh, beat the boss, but on that first run through missed the Holy Cross, or Magic Cross, so that's what I'm doing now. We're just going to go in there and grab that last relic, clear it out, so that we can see those nasty moas flying around in Death Valley. So, here we go. One... Final delve, and we'll be ready to head off to the Great Palace and collect the Triforce of Courage. Already defeated all the, or have defeated, already visited all the villages, so we're not going to have to see much Japanese text moving forward, so this is really more just playthrough for completion's sake, so anybody who's interested in um, maybe doesn't know their way through the Great Palace or where the cross is, this video will work. The roots are all the same in the North American and Japanese edition. So far, there's a pretty familiar route. Just gonna take care of this blue knight here. Hopefully keep him from falling into the pit so I can claim his points. See if I can avoid falling into this little pit here. Alright, another one down. And keep moving on. I don't know why, but I always find smoking these raised robes kind of fun. Now well, I can still come out a bit ahead. This scene is actually pretty irritating because it's um endless. These guys shooting, they're pretty hard to avoid. Kind of have to do just the right kind of jump. Alright, here we go. Another one of these little block climbers with all kinds of knights and stuff. Well, I guess there's just one. And then here we have a fork in the road. We can go to the right door, we can go down. Um, it's actually a bit of a loop. Can, you'll get to see that shortly. Because this next bit. It's pretty difficult, pretty difficult, and I tend to mess it up. So somewhere in this scene, there is a hidden false floor that I will fall through if I'm not careful. And technically, I think you can do it without the jump spell, but I don't remember where. Ah, oh, there it was. The second brick past the statue, you gotta jump, and I didn't quite make it that time for some reason. But I'll end up taking the elevator and going back up that other path that we just saw. And I will try it again. There's the third statue, so let's see if I can do just a little better on my timing this time. Get rid of the super noxious thing. No, maybe I don't have to. Or maybe I do have to. I like the free life. Mm -hmm. More wizards to knock down. At least if I fall down here again, everything will be um, defeated already, so I won't have to worry about quite as many apples, but hopefully I won't. Oops. 
just me and these guys. And down. Alright. Up I go. Alright, take two. Statue number one. Statue number two. Statue number three. Second break. Jump! And I think I made it. Alright. Let's get rid of that guy. And carry on my merry little way. And as you may have noticed, my strategic use of shield, we've got another one of these. Blue Knight is on a horse to take care of here. Not really sure why it didn't damage him when I took him off the horse. If she does. Not really, it takes two hits to get him anyway. So, done. And get another key to add to my useless key collection. And here we go. The cross is ours. So with that, nothing left to do but to mosey on back. Hopefully see that this palace is now turned into yet another one of those mountains. And I never managed to figure out where to jump on that side, so why bother? I've already defeated everything down here. Except this one obnoxious spell. I can never seem to quite position myself just so. <laughs> oh, I'm bad at that. It would really drag be a drag to get a game over at this point. If, uh, I already kind of cleared the way. That's a really obnoxious jump. I gotta go from this side and back to the other side, and maybe make it. But since I do not seem to have left myself enough magic to cast jump, I'll just have to tough it out. There we go. Now just a jaunt back the way I came. One more hurdle here. Let's make it across. No more bottomless pit for me. Now I'll just mosey on through all these empty areas. And then, escape. How sweet it is. And just like that, all six palaces are done, all the gems are restored, I have all of the magical equipment. Maybe just one last little return to um, the hidden town of Casto so that I can get myself restored, assuming I can make it there alive. Not a given, <laughs> where I'm at right now. Hate those red guys. Mm. 
Alright, I've definitely achieved a place where there's not much left of me now. Can I make it? I don't know. Oh, it would be such a tease if I screw up now. Oh. Eureka! Now it is time for a well deserved rest. Get myself pumped up to the max, and then it'll be time to make my way to the end of the game. Now that I'm getting my way back down to the entrance to Death Valley, just get rid of that guy. Hate fighting in the graveyard. These things seems really suck. So I'm gonna try. Oh, well, there we go. Didn't even make it two steps in. But notice they're at least visible. So that was handy. You can see why that would suck so much. And another one. So if these guys were all invisible, I would be having a truly miserable time right now. You know, these things seem to be hanging out in the high ground. Over to the right there, there's a red potion, but I do not need that right now, so I'm just gonna carry on. Ooh, these blue maze guys are awful. good timing. I was just about to cast Life Spell. Now I don't need to. Alright, there's a few of these scenes to make it through now. And as I make my way up to the Great Palace. With all this lava, if I couldn't see those guys and they're just knocking me in every five minutes, I would have been just outraged. Alright, this pit is jumpable. Barely. I might have been smarter to do a jump spell. Up in that little crook, there's another red, bo red bottle, but I don't need it. So I'm gonna pass it. Those guys are done. And 
time for another one of these scenes. jog here into the first cave of the two that I'll have to do. So we'll knock these guys out. He's being stunned. So just want to open his eye, but there he goes. Well, that wasn't my best move, but... Every now and then, it just works out that way. Alright, a couple more down. And through these guys. Like that. And back to full capacity. Blue jerks. Guess I could cast reflect and then I wouldn't have to worry about his small things so much. But he's really just one of those red axe throwers, and I'm not uh, any different than that. Okay, one more of these scenes. And of course, he's now a red one. Just take these guys out while I can. jump to avoid the risk. And the final cave before the final palace. Let's take this dude out. And this guy has got to go as well. Alright, here we are. And up goes the barrier. If I had not restored all six gems, that barrier would have stayed down and I would have been nuked upon contact. So many years ago, a friend of mine and I used to play this game before there were facts or any other helpful things. And we spent a long time trying to find our way through this. And then one day, he got it all figured out. He drew me this nice little map. I memorized it thoroughly and um, subsequently never entirely forgot. I'm not going to promise I'll make it through here without any errors, but in terms of the shortest route, I think I have a pretty good idea on the direction that I need to go. One of the clues this game gives you is the Unlike a lot of games, the really brutally hard scenes tend to indicate that that's not the right way to go. So in this case, I'm going to take it my way. I'm going to make it down. Okay,
One of the funny things in the Great Palace is that some of the enemies, despite being stronger, are worth fewer points than their corresponding ones. I guess just to make it so I don't get levels up every five minutes as I'm progressing through it. Because at this point, as we know, level up is an extra man, which comes in pretty handy when you're trying not to get sent back to the beginning of the game. Um, you have to go all the way through to the valley again to get here. I will be trying to avoid that um, particular outcome. These guys suck so much. Fortunately, he died relatively easily. Two more of those would be super handy. I know when I was a kid, I would kind of just let him jump over me and come down here, but then he'd always follow me down this little uh, piece of fluffs, and then that was just driving me nuts. And here we go. Down a little bit further. Every one of these scenes that you're kind of stuck in a little hallway, there's a little false wall on the left, and there's usually some kind of a goodie in here. Um, it might be guy, it might be one of those, but I definitely wanted that. In much better shape now. And of course there's another one here, but that one, since I got the bottle there, will probably give me something bad and I don't want that. No, oh, I'm so bad at hitting these guys. Upgrade to the Octa Rock, the little flame snakes. No, thank you. I think this might be one of the ones that I always used as a bellwether to make sure I was going the right way. If this is right, um, this is the only time I have to face a blue one of those jumping shield guys. Yep, here he is. So this is the cheap-ass way to get him. You just stand up here, he can't get me, and I will hit him every time. Because every time he jumps, he lowers his shield. So I just keep doing this until he is toast. I'm glad this still works in this version. Oh, that's a lot more points than he was worth, I think, before. Maybe I'll get another extra life before I get to the end of here. Good to see that I'm still on the right path. Things start to get kind of messy um, a little while further. Right, here's another one of the familiar scenes. Um, these guys are floating all over the place, but I don't deal with too many of them uh, in this particular case. keeps following me. Oh, I was wrong. I do have to do this. Well, I want him dead. I don't want to die getting him. But, alas, there's not to be said, but because I have a lot of lives because I got so many uh, of the uh, level ups. But I think I'm going to just leave him be. Oh, well, this is a little bit inconvenient. Yes! There it is. The obligatory false wall. Nice. 
This mess. I think there might be a free man in there, if I recall, but not necessary for me to deal with that right now. Alright. Um, you. Or just bypassing this. Now, here's a sneaky part. Um, to keep going, I need to find the false floor that's hiding under these blocks. And now, there's this guy. <laughs> Hit him once and he turns into like a million little guys. And for some reason all got stuck in there, so that's fine. I will let them be. And here's the next little tricky thing. I've got to go down this little middle thing and down there. And another scene that looks just like the last one. But this is... Now, getting to the final juice. So there's a little bit to prepare for here. Uh, really, to beat this guy, there's a you need a lot of spells. Yeah, so I don't have enough, really, to do a life spell. But shield and jump are both essential. And then when he shows up, he's red. I've got to cast my thunder spell to reveal his face. And until his face is showing... He is not vulnerable. Now, I can start hitting him where it hurts. I'm not sure if I can possibly do this with uh, starting with only half my life though. So this may be one of those uh, two try bosses. These flames get pretty chaotic and frequent. Sure enough, not enough for life. In this case, casting shield was the same thing as casting life, but I only cast one or the other because half damage or half life. Alright, let's do this again. But now I'm in a better spot. I will really be choked if I can't get him this time because I do not want to make it to the final boss with only one life. And I know it looks like I'm flailing around, but he's kind of challenging to hit, because I don't want to get hit with his flames, but I, he's kind of bouncing back and forth all over the place, too. Alright. Almost there. Get him! Alright! He's done. Um, ooh, that was a very, very good time for level up. Now it is time to face the true final boss of Legend of Zelda 2. I'm gonna get up here on the platform, definitely cast my shield again. Here's the Protector and the Triforce itself, um, but he's going to initiate this battle where I have to fight my own shadow. Until I do defeat him, I am not worthy of the Triforce of Courage. So there is a trick to this guy where if I just stood and stabbed, he pretty much would just run into me and get hurt every time. It does not seem to be working here, so this uh, this version doesn't seem to allow that particular exploit. I'm going to have to beat him fair and square. This is not going great to start with, though. I better find my stride in a hurry. If I want to have any hope of getting through this. Yeah, this almost seems like the opposite, where he just kind of 
won't do a crouch stab unless I do. Alright, well. I'll take it. I get Toad in the middle of the room. Guardian appears with Triforce, hands it over. And I have now got what I need to reawaken Princess Zelda and prevent the return of Ganon. Remember, we have the, three, the two other Triforces from the Legends of the One. Wisdom, Power, and now Courage. I will employ the force of those three Triforces on the Princess Zelda. And there she is. She's woken. Nice of them to provide this in English. A truly victorious and extravagant ending. And then the suggestion of a, a nice little kiss, which I believe is the only time I can recall in the Legend of Zelda series that they have allowed any kind of romance between Link and Zelda. But let's the credits roll. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of The Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. This is part of my ongoing series of playing Japanese video games and providing English translations. It's part of my effort to learn Japanese and hopefully providing something helpful for others who may be interested in learning Japanese through video games as well. I know this is a little bit of a different format where I don't necessarily go through and explain every word, but um, I thought it would be helpful to have all everything at your disposal, so please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and um, definitely let me know if there's any other games you'd like to see played, and I hope you all have a great whatever time it is you're watching this. Farewell.